friends. MC Dead's back in the house. Had a few things going on. Had some health issues. On a pretty busy road, so I hope you can hear me. I'm going to be heading out today into JB. I heard they got 30% off. I'm not sure if that sale is still running. Did get a little bit of a payout from work, but I'm out of work, so I really got to watch my money. Got bills to pay. You know how it is, but we'll get there. It's all good. So we're going to be looking for some bargains mainly. And I'm probably going to be filming this video, I reckon, over the next couple of weeks. Go check out some thrift stores as well. See if we can really pick something up worthwhile for cheap. Cheap. That's the deal, horror fans. Trying to save some cash. And uh, yeah, my health's really good again. Um, it's going to take a couple of months. Uh, didn't just hurt my shoulder, I had a few other health concerns as well, but um, I'm still here and that's the main thing and the channel will still be going but in order for the channel to still be going I need to be going out and getting some stuff so we're going to go out and see what we can find and uh, yeah, we'll be back So we're just uh, doing the audio again and we're in the city store um, just because of all the music, the cook, the thief, the wife, and his lover, it's beyond genres line from Umbrella Entertainment. I haven't heard of this one, never heard of this one. Um, looks interesting, might have to look into that. Got some Chucky films there, Death Wish. I've seen that, it was okay, not as, not as good as the original, had some good gore. The Craft Legacy, not interested. Friday the 13th, nine movie collection. I already got that one as a gift from Dad. It was really nice to get it. Good price there for those nine films, 20, uh, 20 28. Uh, Hellraiser collection for 20 bucks on DVD. I think it's the fourth or fifth film onwards, and there's five films on it, but... Yeah, I'd probably just get those on video on demand or something. It's not worth picking up on DVD. I've heard they're pretty woeful. So, I think I'll leave that. Kill Bill, I've got both of those. We're just in the R-rated section now, so a lot of it's mixed sort of stuff. Reservoir Dogs, really good price on that one, nine ninety eight. That's going upwards of sort of 15 on the bay at the moment. Um... That's a good price, brand new sealed. $9.98 for that one. I actually don't have that in my collection. Um, just looking here. More sort of common stuff. Jean Claude Van Damme box set, not interested. Wolf of Wall Street, the wrong turn series there. Victor Crowley on DVD. Yeah, fifteen ninety eight for a DVD. I wouldn't bother. I've heard it wasn't that great. Antebellum, I've seen. Um, Aquarium of the Dead looks interesting, but not available on Blu-ray. I would prefer the Blu-rays. Black Christmas was crap. Devil Below, I haven't heard of that one. The Dark and the Wicked... I haven't heard of this one either. This is a new one from the writer and directors of The Strangers. That was a good film. I did hear good reviews about it. Um, I might have to look into that one a bit more and maybe pick that out, pick that up later down the track when it's not as dear. The Haunting was crap. The Hunt was really good. I've seen that, but I wouldn't be interested in watching it again. I try to get stuff that I know I'm going to watch more than once. A Quiet Place. I've been looking around for this one for a while. It hasn't been available on video on demand with subtitles. That's a really, actually a really good price for that one, $12.98. Um, yeah, 2018 movie. Be good to see it. I've heard really good things about it. And there's a sequel due out any time. Slither, 
It's another Beyond Genres one from Umbrella Entertainment. I had no idea this was coming out. I hadn't been on their website for a while. And, uh, yeah, they've, uh, they've put that out on the Beyond Genres line umbrella, and that would be pretty good. I might just wait for those to come down in price a bit. They are dear. we got The Thing now on DVD. Of course, I've got the... Uh, I've already got that one on Blu-ray and we've got uh, the It 2 film collection if you haven't got that that's going for a good price at the moment so just having a bit more of a look here we've got Jigsaw there yeah here it is here the two film collection that's a really good price $24.95 for both of those films if you don't own those and they're interested I actually really enjoyed them the originals good price too $12.98 I don't own that the original was they were both really good in their own way the remake and the original but yeah just having a closer look at that now that's actually a really good price for that Oh, sorry, it's 30. 30 for the two films, so 15 each on Blu-ray. Would have been the DVD I was looking at that was twenty four ninety five. Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark was really good. So, yeah, actually picked up a couple of really good deals in there. Cheap. It's cheap. Cheap. Two items. You find out what they are in the reviews. Probably going to go down to Marion. The next couple of days I've got a bigger section. There really wasn't a great deal there new, I guess you'd say. Um, so I'll go down to Marion, I reckon. They've got a huge horror section down there in the next couple of days. Plenty of time. It's going to be a couple of weeks that I do this video and uh, take my time with it as my health continues to return. So yeah, happy with that for today though, two really good deals, cheap. What's up horror fans? I'm down at Prospect. It's a couple of days later, it's a Friday, it's a miserable fucking day. It's about 13 degrees. A lot different than what it was Wednesday. There's a couple of thrift stores here. The Salvation Army and then around the corner we've got Save the Children. And I might cross over the road, Cashies. Have a look in there, see what we can pick up. I'm not expecting to find a great deal of horror stuff in the thrift stores, we're going to have a look anyway, just in case. And uh, Cashies might be a different story. But with all the copyright claims bullshit at the moment, we probably have to uh, do a vocal overdub. This is just too much loud music playing in there. I've had a couple of copyright claims my material in the past so uh, I've got a program now to solve that so let's go in and have a look and see what we can find eh?
Nine pros. Three bucks. Nah. Worth four for the DVD. Yeah, so that was a bus really. I saw one really good thing in Cashies there. There's a sign Friday the 13th, Jason Roy. It looked like it had been signed by Kane Otter. 145 bucks. Can't really afford that at the moment. Could have put it on lay by, but then you got to get it authenticated. Um, I've already got the Chase version. Um, yeah, at a different time maybe. If I was working, I probably would have grabbed that. But I would have had to get it authenticated as well. But yeah, the thrift stores, it's always the same shit you see. Twilight movies, I saw the same in Catchies then. And there's always a Batman movie of some sort. So, uh, yeah, that's a bust for today. But I'll be back again and uh, move on to the next spot. Yeah, guys, so it's uh, a couple of days later. 
Sunday the 11th of July. It's a nice cool day in Adelaide, right in the middle of winter. And I'm actually doing a couple of things today. See, uh, over the last couple of days I had a change of my mind. Over that Friday the 13th signed by Kane Hodder, pop vinyl, that we looked at the other day at Cash's at Enfield. So I'm heading down the hill to the library at Enfield and I figured why not kill two birds with one stone. I'm actually going to go and have a closer look at that. I know a fair bit about pops now. I want to see whether it's authentic for a start. And then possibly try and get him down a bit on price but we'll see what happens. Well creepily enough, I'm actually walking past Enfield Memorial Park. Flip the camera around. You can see it just over there. But it's not spooky at all. It's actually a very quiet, serene place. Lovely place. But um, yeah, it's a nice bit of exercise for me to get out and about and birds with one stone, so to speak. So I might uh, end up putting this one on label. I've seen if it's 145. If I can get him down a bit lower, I may just pick it up, but we'll see what happens. We'll go check that out now. Yeah, so I ended up putting 29 bucks down on that. Um, I fucked up the camera work, so you only got a quick glimpse of it, but um, the signature looked real enough. Um, I was a bit concerned at the bottom. You can always tell on the bottom whether they're real or fake, but I had a look at some others and uh, they, look, they look legit. Um, also you can tell by the boldness around the image, that looked legit. Sometimes the O and the pops filled in dark and that looked legit. Yeah, there's really no real way of knowing um, until I get it graded. I'll take it up with Dave on the hill at Davey Boys Toys, get him to have a closer look at it. But um, yeah, you win some, you lose some. I have bought a fake one before um, from China. I'll never do that again. Never buy anything direct from China when it comes to pop vinyls. But uh, yeah, we'll wait and see to find out. Um, but yeah, there's just no real way of knowing until I have it graded. So we'll see what happens. Yeah, guys, so we're at the last part of the video now. It's about a week after I last shot some footage. Uh, I'm going to head down to JB Hi-Fi Marion, see if I can pick one more thing up see if there's anything on sale and uh, got about five and a half hours to lockdown we're going into a week's lockdown so uh, yeah should give me ample time to get out to Marion JB and uh, check out their horror section it's a big section there as well so hopefully pick something decent up and uh, we'll check out what we've got in the reviews so we're just coming into Marion now and uh, there doesn't seem to be too many people I'm hoping it's not jam-packed in there so I can at least film some footage but uh, I'll have to wait and see but it doesn't it doesn't appear to be usually this would be jam-packed we're about three hours from lockdown so we'll see if we can get some footage in here so yeah we'll have a look in the horror section now and I've just muted the sound again because of the copyright of music playing in the background and Antebellum I saw I didn't think much of it so I'm putting that one back. Aquarium of the Dead looks interesting I might have to look into that a bit more. And here's a new one here from Umbrella Entertainment Black Water. I haven't heard of this one. Um, looks like some kind of killer croc crocodile type thing. I have to look into that as well. That looks interesting. Blood Vessel I saw. Didn't think much of. Moving along here. The Call. This is another one starring Tobin Bell and Lynn Shea as well as Chester Rushing. I've never heard of this. Looks like a uh, Columbia release. Paramount. It's actually Studio Canal I can see on the bottom right there. Child's Play 2. The Conjuring. Just looking through here, 47 meters down, uncaged. There's obviously the sequel to the one on the left there. I've never seen 47 meters down. Um, feel free to leave your comments below if you have seen it and what you thought of that. 
I wouldn't mind checking that out at some point. Don't look back. Just having a look here. And here we've got House of a Thousand Corpses. You don't see this one around much these days from Umbrella or not, uh, Umbrella Entertainment for nine ninety eight on DVD. Moving along here to It Jaws DVD. Big horror section here at Marion. Just having a look here. Evil Dead. Fifteen ninety eight is not a bad price for this one. That's getting rarer. You don't see it around a lot. I've seen plenty of copies on the bay, but they're all sort of around that price, brand new and sealed. I'm just in the R-rated section now. I'm just checking out the Mortal Kombat 4K Ultra HD. That's going for forty bucks. That wasn't a bad movie actually. It had some good gory fatality scenes in it. Pulp Fiction's about the same price as usual, $15.98. I still don't have that in my collection, believe it or not. Can't believe I don't own that, but I don't. I think I used to. It disappeared somewhere. We've got Sky Sharks here. I did see another guy review this one online. He said it was pretty funny for a laugh. That's from Umbrella. Might have to check that out at some point. This was a really weird one, Willy's Wonderland. I downloaded this video on demand. It looks really strange. Nicolas Cage, he's been in some re weird movies of late. Um, that's from Madman Entertainment. The Unholy, I haven't heard of this one either. This looks like an interesting new one here. That's from Sony, I believe. It's still a high price though. I might wait for that to come down. 26 bucks. It's a new release. And I've just found this one here. It's the sixth one in the series from Umbrella Driving Delirium. I can't believe they've brought another one out. That's awesome. 181 theatrical trailers remastered in HD. Plus the curse of VHS Delirium. An extra two hours from Umbrella. And the first one I picked up here was uh, one that I've been looking at getting for a while. And it's a uh, Quiet Place. Starring John Krasinski who also directs this and Emily Blunt. And uh, this was an absolutely amazing movie in every way. Just the tension in this movie, it really, really builds up to a great finish. It's a real slow burner of a film. Um, it's basically centered around a, a family that's, um, there's obviously been some kind of apocalypse in the world and the world's overrun and basically come to an end by these creatures. And these creatures are actually blind. They can't see anything, but they rely on sound. They've got super sensitive hearing. So if you so much as take a quiet footstep or whisper, these creatures have got like supersonic hearing. You actually see their ear canal open up in the movie. Amazing effects in this movie as well. And they can hear the slightest sound they'll attack and they're these deadly, vicious creatures. Um, I was amazed by this film. Such a great film to watch late at night, you know, with the lights off. The atmosphere is amazing in this. Um, the acting's really good in this. You know, for a film that's basically barely any speaking, the subtitles. And I was going to get it on video demand originally, but I couldn't find it anywhere with the subtitles. So I ended up going out and getting this. And as I said, um, I think in the, earlier in the video, I was waiting for it to go down in price. But this is an awesome movie. And there's a sequel, I believe it's already out on video on demand. I don't know, I'm not sure if it's got a uh, Blu-ray release yet, but I'd definitely check this out. It's made me, I enjoyed it so much, I'm, I'm looking forward to, without spoiling the ending, how, how it turns out in the second chapter of this story, because yeah, it was, it left, it was a real cliffhanger of an ending, but uh, this one's got um, Creating the Quiet, director John Krasinski gives you a behind the scenes look at a quiet place, The Sound of Darkness, Creating the sound of a silent world, a reason for silence, the art of unforgettable visual effects. This is a 2018 release. Next one I picked up here is an absolute classic as well. It's the 2013 remake from um, uh, Ghost House Pictures. And it's directed by Fede Alvarez. Stars Jane Levy, Shiloh Fernandez, Leigh Taylor Pucci and uh, Jessica Lucas. One of the best reboots of an 80s film I've seen, this particularly 80s horror film. Um, 
I remember going to see this in the theatres in 2013 and I didn't think much of it. I think it was just, it was one of those films that had to grow on me over repeated viewings. Um, but they did such a great job on this remake. It's, it's the only thing that really resembles the original is the house that they go to. But apart from that, it's a really different um, type of movie. Super, super gory. Jane Levy's great in this. It was her first film. Of course, she went on to do uh, other things after that. But um, so it's such a gory movie as well. Like really a hard watch for me the first time I ever saw this. But it's really grown on me with time. And I think a couple of weeks ago, if you've seen my video, you would have seen me do uh, the Evil Dead trilogy, the original trilogy that I got from Sony as well. So I, I was amazed I didn't have this. Um, all this time, I just never got around to getting it, but it's got a lot of special features on it, making life difficult, the intense and physically exhausting creation of the film, directing the dead, director Fede Alvarez reimagines a cult classic, being Mia, the physical and psychological transformation into evil Mia, cast and filmmaker commentary, unleashing the evil force, the origin and design of the new book of the dead, and the evil dead reboot, Bruce Campbell cast rehearsals, deadites and more, and the basic story I forgot to mention, it's the same as the first one. A um, group, group of these teenage kids go to this house, um, but they've sort of turned it around a bit in this and given it sort of more of a modern feel. One of the characters that's going to the house is coming off drugs, so she's uh, detoxing at this house. And, yeah, of course, similar to the original, they find this book, the Book of the Dead, Necronomicon, and it unleashes these Kandarian demons, otherwise known as Deadites, and... Um, yeah, absolute classic, must see. The next one I've got here, I was really happy to get as well. You don't see this around much. Um, and I got this for free. JB Hi-Fi had a two for one going on their movie. So I was really happy to pick this up. And I was happy to get it on DVD because um, really the way this is shot, it's a really gritty movie. It's got that 1970s feel to it of classics like um, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, The Hills Have Eyes. You know, those real gritty sort of 70s horror movies. It's set in the 70s, but um, yeah, it's about a group of people traveling and um, they encounter this petrol station owner played by Sid Haig. This has also got um, Sherry Moon and Bill Mosley, Karen Black's in it as well. And uh, they come across Captain Spaulding, this clown in this servo. It's like the, he's got this museum as well, the, monster, the, uh, the Museum of Monsters and Mad Men. And they learn about the legend of this Dr. Satan. So they go out searching for this tree that Dr. Satan was hung from. And they come across this fucked up family man of like, these incredibly depraved, like, just the sickest twisted people you could ever meet. And I'll show you a picture on the back of what some of these individuals look like. It's really, really cool if you can see here. The makeup is incredible. Like, this was Rob Zombie's first film. This was uh, released in 2002, and of course it went on to have two sequels as well. Uh, it's known as the Firefly Trilogy now, and that's the, of course the name of the, fam the depraved family in this movie, but a real classic throwback to, um, to uh, 1970s sort of slasher movies, um, exploitation movies, torture, all that sort of stuff. It's all in here, guys. A real... Again, the first time I saw it, I didn't really get it. I was like, it's really cheesy. But yeah, I've come to love it. It's an absolute classic. And, you know, Devil's Rejects was great too. And Three from Hell, the third film. I, I would recommend watching all three of the movies. This is probably the best of the three, in my opinion. But yeah, eventually I'll pick these the three of these up on Blu-ray. They are available in a three-pack. But this was nice to get for free in the meantime. And House of a Thousand Courses, of course, was a local release from Umbrella Entertainment as well. I love supporting local brands in Australia. So the next one I've got here, yeah, it's not a horror movie, but it's pretty horrific. I thought I'd throw this one in for the hell of it. I, I, I had this in my collection at one stage. I don't know whatever happened to it, but um, yeah, man, this really changed my life, this movie. That's why I just wanted to include it because it is so horrific in its realism. Um, it's 1991 release, of course, by legendary Quentin Tarantino. Worked in a video shop before this, believe it or not. And this is the movie that set him on the map of stardom that he's on today. 
Reservoir Dogs, of course, if you've never seen it, and I seriously doubt you wouldn't have. Um, it's got an absolute all-star cast in this. Harvey Keitel, Tim Roth, Chris Penn, Steve Buscemi, Lawrence Tierney, Michael Madsen. Absolutely awesome cast. The script in this movie is incredible. The music in this movie is incredible. 70s soundtrack. Um, wow. It's basically about a bunch of um, crooks that get together to pull off a diamond heist to the diamond wholesalers. And they're all these different personalities. Like you've got the really like jittery guy and you've got the really like cool, calm and collected professional guy. And then you've got the undercover cop and you've got the psychotic psychopath. And you've got the, you know, the, the boss. And it's just absolutely full on movie. What, what happens to these guys are just, it, and they're all flawed in their own way. And the way that Quentin Tarantino uses the back and forth, um, between time periods, like jumps back and forth in time and the narrative, of course, he went on to do that so successfully in Pulp Fiction and a lot of movies to follow as well. But this is an absolute must watch. Looks amazing on Blu-ray. You don't see a lot of these around now. Um, I was really happy. This cost me 10 bucks, brand new and sealed. I was looking on eBay. Um, it would have cost me upwards of $5 more. And that was for used DVDs and that. You just don't see it around much now. Most people have got it. So yeah, an absolute must see Reservoir Dogs. And just what happens to these guys like... It's just got such a full-on ending, like, and a real build-up as well. But, yeah, masterpiece, this one. And the last one I got, I was really excited to get. Um, I'd actually written to these guys on their Facebook to see whether they were going to be releasing this. And this is part six of their series, Driving Delirium. And this is the one that they've just released now called The Final Contact. And it's got all these trailers. It's basically a compilation of trailers from the 70s and onwards. Um, and all kinds of genres, not just horror, there's sci-fi, there's action, thriller, um, exploitation, all that sort of stuff's on here. 181 theatrical trailers remastered in HD. I highly recommend checking out this series. If, you, if you're ever stuck for something to watch, it's good as well. I always just chuck on a couple sometimes before a movie. If I'm going to watch a double feature or something, I'll just chuck on a couple of trailers just to have fun, warm me up a bit. But it's got a whole lot of stuff in here. I'll go through a couple of the movies that are on here. Um, it's got uh, The Captive Female, Dance with the Devil, Burnt Offerings, The Evil, The Fury, Magic, Dracula, Beyond Evil, Watcher in the Woods, Phobia, Night Beast, Julie Darling, Reanimator, Street Chat, Trash, The Hitcher, Scared Stiff, Fright Night Part 2, and heaps of others. Heaps of stuff on here, so if you're ever stuck for something to watch, I'd definitely check out this Drive-In Delirium series. They're really cool. Umbrella's done a fantastic job restoring this, and they always do a great job with their products. So, yeah. Anyway, guys, that's it for the review portion and this video. I'm really happy to be back and... Um, you know, we're in a bit of a lockdown at the moment, but I'm glad to be putting this out there for you guys. It gives me something to do, and uh, feel free to leave your comments down below. Let me know what you've picked up recently, what you've been watching, and uh, next video, I'm going to be going out to Davy Boy to to Davy Boy's Toys to check out um, this Jason Voorhees pop vinyl. Um, just to get his opinion on it, I've done a bit more research into it and it's looking pretty good. It's looking like the good. So I compared it to the other I've got in my collection. I've got the Chase version of that, but I've never had a sign one. So I'm really interested to hear what Dave says about that. That's going to be for next time. Please like and subscribe down below if you like my content and keep supporting YouTube and YouTube YouTubers. And I'll see you next time. Bye.